I'm waiting for them to come within comms range over here. We can see. There we go. Alright, looks like we've got our landing pad. I'm going to back this bad boy in because I uh, would rather back it in to land than back it out to leave. open. Proximity alert. Head. Landing gear deployed. Proximity alert. Head. Oh, maybe I will. Maybe I will just... No, let's see if I can... That's just an impressive ship. You 
you don't really get the scale in games quite often, but when you can literally come up and stand next to some of these things with a human size reference, it's just few few games in my opinion have done this. I get it when I use my Oculus Rift, but that's a whole separate story. Got some cargo in here. This is the view if you were to be coming in from the rest stop. This is what you get. This definitely looks like uh, Star Wars Empire, the Imperial. Just the, the dark metal, jagged edge, uh, wedge kind of shape that they often have. like you have to be standing off the pad in order to get it to function and go up. Alright, now let's take off and leave, disembark from the hangar. This will be a first uh, for this hangar for me. I was hoping I could do it in a 600i, which is almost as big as this one. Uh, a little bit smaller, but more manageable for a single pilot. Aegis Combat Assist activated. Systems green. I know you can do a single button press to engage all systems, but I kind of like doing, you know, if I'm not in a hurry, I like doing the, uh, power on, engines on, system check kind of kind of thing. I don't know. It's part, it's part of the uh, enjoyment of having all of these features isolated. Alright, so now I'm going to call up and uh, request that they open the door. Oh, look at that. They're like reinforced blast doors. That's really neat. Launch complete. Proximity alert overhead. Very tight quarters in here. Initiated. 